And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes. And I'm getting pack fatigue. <laughs> but they just keep releasing packs, man. And you know, once a pack comes out, I have to be here to open some. I wasn't going to open any of the idle super packs because those are trash. But we got another series of season rewind packs. And I'm a big fan of these packs. Honestly, I really am. The packs themselves, I mean, my luck has been insane, but I just like the overall theme of giving all these, like, underappreciated players, like, tight cards, like Malik Beasley, Shea, uh, Jared, Al Jared Allen, ew, okay. They got Dark Matters, LeBron, Westbrook, Kevin Garnett are in here as well, Anthony Edwards is back in the mix. Um, on the Opal side, we got Colin Sexton, who's been great all year. Whoever Moses Brown is, uh, I'm not too familiar with him. <laughs> Naz Reed, Naz Reed has an opal what oh my boy jared jared vanderbilt let's go um abaka's back in these packs dean wade i'm sure a certain content creator is about to explode in his pants theo melendin maladin dude i am terrible at pronouncing names either way let's get right into it let's start ripping some packs up and my luck has been crazy for the last two days so i'm wondering if that continues i guess we'll find out not initially i got fred van vliet that's an ominous sign of things to come this is going to be a long pack opening. I can just kind of feel it because if I don't start pulling stuff, um, like I'm going to keep going until I pull something <laughs> just with the way the last two days go or have went, I should say. Um, I just know, like, I, I just, I know this is how it's going to go. All right. We got double sapphires off the rip. There's a 31% chance to pull a 92 or above card. Um, that does include current cards as well, in addition to the pretty large roster of cards in these Season Rewind packs. So, Now, the good news is, is if you are opening these, like, the cards themselves, aside from the older cards, like, the older cards, no, but the newer cards, that, the cards that just got released today for the set, those guys will, their price will be up, because a lot of people don't open these packs. Because, I mean, realistically, especially today, like, it's Thursday, like, tomorrow we're getting Friday content, and... The way the weekly content has gone this week, especially with that idols drop we got yesterday, I can only imagine what we're getting tomorrow as far as Friday content. Like, it's going to be either a large promo, a fan favorites, a retro. I think at worst it's a flash set, and I don't even think it's going to be a flash set. I think they're done with flash sets, so we'll see what's up. I'm kind of interested, though. It's going to be stupid. They're going to tease it later, so... Hey, pay attention to the Cheap Loots channel. I'll probably be talking about whatever they leak later on. Are you guys proud of me? I finally stopped sending uh, Amethyst to my auction house. <laughs> After sending like 15 Bradley Beals there yesterday, I'm just, I'm over it. I have used MT in the last three pack openings I've done, which I feel like it's, that means that 2K is going to do me dirty right here. They're like, oh, you haven't spent any money. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting nothing. That's probably what's going to happen, but it is what it is. Honestly, like, this set, I will say, doesn't really excite me too much, but I guess that really comes down to the fact that the uh, teams involved really aren't that exciting. Like, none of the dark mat, like, Malik Beasley will be good. I, w I would use Malik Beasley because his diamond card was really nice. I probably wouldn't use him in my main squad, but I'd use him, like, play TTO and stuff. What do we got? A diamond. Uh, is this Lou Dort? Yeah, Lou Dort's going to be like, buy it now. I mean, if you're looking to fill out like an all-time Thunder roster or like a current Thunder roster, like, that'll be fun, I guess. But yeah, just looking at the set, I mean, like, I don't know who Moses Brown is, I'll be honest, but I kind of want to draw him. Oh, he looks pretty bad, actually. I have no interest in this guy. Uh, what about Colin Sexton's Colin Sexton? Like, he'll be solid. Naz Reed, I just why he got an opal i don't know like i'm not i haven't watched very many timberwolves games this year i'll be honest um so i don't really know much about uh naz reed uh he's not even the og naz though nazir muhammad pale imitation of my man shout out to nazir muhammad he came through on them late or early 2010s bulls teams held it down on the bench held it down is a generous term uh, Naz Reed has like Grant Hill release, so he's basically like a uh, purchasable Dave Cowens. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Dave Cowens is a beast. A little bit bigger, too. So, yeah, so far, nothing, man. Outside of a Lou Dort. Dude, I hate Danilo Gallinari so much. 
I heard someone say the other day that uh, with his haircut in the playoffs, he looks like a club promoter that's going to try to roofie somebody, and that was super funny. <laughs> like that was that was pretty on point. I, I, I'll, I'll take that one. All right, we got the pink diamond finally. I don't know who are the pink diamonds in this set even. I don't even remember. Dean Wade, I think. It's not Dean Wade. Is it Theo Melodin? No, it is. Wait, is that him? No, I don't think so. Who is this? Oh, Jared Vanderbilt. Yeah, shout out to Jared Vanderbilt for sure. Why shout out to him? I don't know. I pulled his bronze card so many times this year. I'm really sad, my boy. Jalen LeCue is out of the league and he's not going to get a card. That's very disappointing. They should just give him a card anyway. Like, all things considered. All right, what do we got here? Something. Another pink diamond. Okay. Uh, this one, uh, yeah, you could be Theo. I don't care. Yeah, be Theo. No, this is literally <laughs> hit the same card. I got the same card back to back. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? I mean, depending what this card's going for, I still think it's going, as a pink diamond, probably still going for like 25k plus, which is decent. That's kind of the one thing about these packs that I will say. It's not a good thing by any means because whatever 2k is doing with these timed xp uh challenges which i don't necessarily like um i would say the only saving grace is that they are worth so much xp individually that that's like the only thing i could say positively about the disappearing xp challenges but at the end of the day if you're not playing this game all day every day like you're gonna miss a lot of those xp but at least it seems that they're giving out a lot, a lot, a lot of XP. So majority of the player base should be able to get Luca. It is a grind, obviously, but I don't know. I think it's I think they're doing it just to encourage like spending and encouraging the market to stay up. Which I I just feel like maybe I'm like tripping, but I feel like they do a lot of stuff just to try to combat like MT selling sites and MT selling individuals. I just generally feel like some of the stuff they're doing is spiteful in nature. I, I don't know why. All right. These packs are not a dub at all. But I will say I'm not going to sit here and, like, trash them and be like, oh, these are the worst packs ever or whatever. Like, I've just had crazy luck for the last three days. So this is normal pack luck right here. No question about it. But this is about how my pack opening went yesterday until I got to, like, the 10-minute mark or something. And then I just pulled, like, two Dark Matters. So... Anything is possible, I suppose. Alright. I don't even know how many packs I am in right now. I've been kind of like rambling. I'm a rambling man. Not a, not a good amount. I'm not coming out on top. Guys, I haven't sold Kawhi. I actually like him too much to sell him. Which is unfortunate, because he's going for like 700k, and I know the smart thing to do is to sell him, but he's just generally fun to use. I did sell Paul George, though, which I'm using all those profits to open these packs right now. So, uh, Pink Diamond. Oh, uh, if you give me the same dude, I'm going to be so upset. No, it's not. It's uh, Wiggins. No, that's even worse. <laughs> He's only going for, like, 7K. Damn. Okay. Well, that's fine. I got him and Zion. If I was Zion, I'd be so upset about this photo, especially because I'm the cover athlete. You guys really did me like this. Like, come on, man. Who did they workshop those pictures with? Like, that player art is just so bad. Or card art, I should say. I just want to know, like, was there any quality control on those whatsoever? Or did they just kind of, like, submit them and nobody looked at them? Or, or was it a huge joke? I honestly don't know. Jason Tatum. Uh, has anybody run into an invincible Jason Tatum out in the wild yet? I'm really curious about that. Like, I haven't seen one yet. I know they exist. I'm sure, like, uh, a couple content creators have them by now. But I'm curious to see if anybody's run into them out in the wild, like, playing TTO or, like, Unlimited or something. It's got to be so difficult to get that card. It's, like, the sweatiest of the sweats to have that card. Because you have to spend, like, an absurd amount of money and grind this game hard. You can't do one or the other. It has to be both. Um... Yeah, I don't. Jade, is this my boy Jaden McDaniels? Yeah, it is. Okay. Like at least with last year, with the Dwayne Wade or the Anthony Davis, like if someone had those two cards or even just one of them, you could you could reasonably assume that they either bought their way to it or they grinded their way to it. But 
This year, like, no, Tatum, you have, you can easily assume that the, that person has done both. They have both spent, like, thousands of dollars, and they have grinded hundreds of hours in this game, which is wild. For a Jason Tatum card, it's not even that much better than the actual Dark Matter we have that you can buy for 200k. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, also, like, Jason Tatum getting an Invincible card before Michael Jordan, like, that, that really hurts. Jason Tatum is a great player in the NBA, but like, mm, mm, mm. but come on, man. Like he got an invincible card before MJ, before Shaq, before David Robinson. Um, I feel like Dirk, disrespect. I hate this Kyrie. I, I actually hate Kyrie in general. Um, yeah, you know what? My relationship with Kyrie Irving is tough. Sometimes I hate him. Other times I'm like, yeah. Like when he went and stepped on the Celtics logo, that was a tight move. I respect that. that was, uh, yeah. I wish my boy Kirk Heinrich would have done that in 08, but he didn't. Probably because he feared for his safety. I don't think Boston fans would have attacked him, you know, for obvious reasons. Kirk Heinrich isn't exactly the type of guy they would attack, if you know what I mean. All right. Dude, these packs. I'm not having any good luck right now. I'm not going to blame the packs, though I'm assuming they're not the greatest odds to pull a Dark Matter. I'm just having really bad luck right now because I can't even pull, like, Pink Diamonds and Opals and stuff. So, maybe maybe all my luck is being saved for tomorrow. I'm trying to keep this Dark Matter pulling streak alive, though. Like, I'm not going below a million, that's for sure, but I'm going to try to keep it going. That's not a DM. That's another Pink Diamond. Damn I don't know. My luck has been insane lately. I'm trying to go to Galaxy Opal tier in uh, Unlimited without playing a single game myself. That's that's the goal this season. I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to get it up there just by letting Ty Debo use my account. That's that's the goal. It's a big brain move. It's playing 40 chess. I seriously wonder what we're getting tomorrow. It's going to be stupid, whatever it is. If it's guaranteed packs again, I will lose my mind. I just, dude, I hate guaranteed packs so much. They're so bad. Like, guaranteed packs 100% have worse odds than non-guaranteed regular packs. Like, there's no question about it. Is that an Opal? Finally, something. What do we got? Who's it going to be? Be Colin Sexton. It's not. All right, already it's not. Wait, it's not even a new card. Ah, oh, I just got rid of you, PG. Not not this one specifically, but like I just got rid of Paul George. I don't want another one. I can buy this one later. Ah, oh, all right, whatever. It's cool. Paul George should be really cheap, by the way. Though at this point in the game, there's other guys that are gonna be like at Paul George's level slash way above it for around the same price. So I don't necessarily think it's a great pickup but if you are a big paul george fan that's not a terrible card to pick up because he's probably gonna be like 20k or something by the end of today there we go we got diamond uh i'm not saying they necessarily needed to put um diamonds in there but like now when i see the diamonds i know for a fact it's like a card i truly do not care about like generally speaking i don't care about the diamond cards that come in sets anyway but sometimes they're really good and they're fun to use and this at least they're new I think at least it's like a random guy, you know, now it's just Jeff Green and Lou Dort, apparently, and I think Jaden McDaniel's out here, yeah, give it to George Mikan, the peak athlete of the 1950s, god, imagine getting hooped on by George Mikan, but then again, the person who got hooped on by George Mikan probably just looked exactly like Mikan, so I guess it's really not that different, imagine like current day getting hooped on by George Mikan, that would be unfortunate, I mean, he's like 6'10", though. So, I mean, I guess. It is what it is. He'd just be balling you up with fundamental moves, wearing knee pads. That, that might hurt a little bit. I'm not going to lie. There we go. Finally. That's what I'm talking about. What do we got here? Uh, I don't even know who I want. Malik Beasley. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's Russ. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to complain. It is what it is. I'm actually shocked I drew Russ because I know that the older Dark Matter cards have lower odds uh, than the new ones that just come out. Like that—that that is for sure been found out. 
throughout these pack opening videos is that when they release the newer cards with these like super packaged sets, the newer Dark Matters, the newer Opals and stuff like that do have much higher odds um, than the older cards. So I'm actually kind of shocked that I pulled the older card. Granted, in this case, I would have preferred to pull like any of the newer ones, but still cool. I am kind of upset that there was a point guard LeBron and an invincible KD and I got Russ. That's, that's unsettling, but it is what it is. It's fine. That's still 100k I get back. Still at a loss on this pack opening, but uh, you know what? It's all good. Oh, there we go. What do we got now? That's a diamond. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't know if any of the cards are going to be cheap for this set. I feel like they're generally not. And the reason for that is I don't think a lot of people are going to open these. I mean, there's people like me who open every single pack. Yeah, there are people like me. I feel like most of them are content creators. There's some of them that just do it for the love of the game. Like, I can tell you without any hesitant, yeah, any hesitance that, like, I wouldn't be opening half the packs I open if I wasn't recording videos on them. <laughs> and I make sure to tell you guys that. I kind of want Moses Brown. I, I just like his vibe, dude. I, I don't know. He doesn't look good at all. He looks really bad, actually. But I like his vibe. That's that's all I can really say about that. Clint Capella. Look at him, dude. Clint Capella. I don't know if this is a regional thing or what. But if you go to your local YMCA and you, you, know, you look at the first court, you know, the main court that they have in the basketball section, there's always this group of, like, older dudes that run this court. And they all look like... Clint Capella like every single one well there's at least like three to four guys who look like Clint Capella in the mix I got like a flat top they have like multiple like knee braces on um and they just been hooping there since like 87 and they like run that area is that is that like universal or is that just the uh Illinois chapter of the YMCA that I went to all right 98 overall 11 who is this I don't who is this is this Naz Reed <laughs> Shout out to my man Nazareed. I don't know anything about him. How old is he, dude? Is he young? I, I don't even know. I don't know anything about Nazareed. I truly do not. My basketball knowledge could be higher, especially in regards to the uh, Timberwolves, for sure. Uh, I mean, I don't. There's like no way. Oh, he got drafted in 2019, so he's young. Okay. He born in 1999. Man, that hurts. I just realized people coming into the league in the next couple of years will have been drafted after Y2K. Man, that hurts. All right, we got something else. Please be noble. It's a diamond. Unfortunate. Ooh, those Adidas. Imagine hooping in those Adidas Pro models. Man. You know what blows my mind? Will Chamberlain used to run that fast and jump that high in Chuck Taylor's bro how <laughs> how that's not even possible those little canvas sneakers should have exploded oh man how can't believe people used to run track and pf flyers dude that's just wild to me no foot comfort man as someone who's wore i have i guess i don't really wore clan, converse ever so i gotta like i don't know about the comfort of the converse sneaker i know that vans are incredibly uncomfortable so all right so russell westbrook i don't really know what he's up to i mean i'll just throw him in there if he just goes for 100k flat i don't really care i have no interest in westbrook i'm not gonna use him so i will put him up somebody buy my dylan brooks dude i'm getting tired of this i've been trying to sell this dude for like the last 48 hours now i'm gonna go more in depth later in another video like i said 2k is going to leak some stuff so i'm going to go over a whole bunch of market videos and stuff and by the way guys i've been super busy because i'm looking for a new apartment to move to so i've been doing a lot of showings and stuff like that which sucks it's like very boring so that's why i haven't been uploading as consistently um at nighttime that's why i've been just putting out like the one pack opening video and i've been really busy so i will be back to my normal video schedule where i put out like a bunch of stuff but in the meantime i'm just going to do these pack openings shout out to my man moses brown I'm going to go get a Moses Brown jersey. Um, I don't really know why. I just like his vibe, dude. Gives me real Joaquin Noah vibes. I don't know why. So, Season Rewind 1, XP challenges are still here. We got the Season Rewind 2, and then we got uh, Roby Garland Akogi reward cards. Yikes. Same requisites. Great. 
As always, it has been your boy Cheap Ludes. I will see you guys later. Check the description for all my stuff, and uh, like I said, I'll be dropping a new video later tonight. Peace out.